All righty, Tyler, here we go. Uh, we're going to start off with Eric Scopel from 247 Sports. Tyler, a couple of days removed from Friday. What's been the mood of the team and, and kind of is everybody's head on the, on the right path right now for Cal on, on Saturday? 100%. You know, we, we all talked as a group, uh, got all of our le leaders together and just talked to the team about, about what this week means to us and how we want to move forward. You know, everyone's kind of gelling together. Uh, we're pissed off in a way that we know we should have done better last week, but we're just going to use this momentum and just really uh, take this week of practice seriously and just got to take it onto the field on Saturday. Matt Prem, 247 Sports. I think the goal so far has been to play, you know, as complete of a game as you guys possibly can. You know, first couple of games is playing really well in the second half. You guys played really well in the first half against Oregon State. I guess what's just – preventing you guys from putting a, a full, complete game, you know, playing well in both halves, you feel like? Uh, just execution on our part. You know, it's, it's the little things that matter, and we just got to take those little things and, and just know that they're big, big things at the end of the day. Um, everyone's got to do their job. I got to do my job better. Um, it just comes out to translating what we do in practice onto the field every single drive. You know, we can't take anything for granted, no matter the scoreboard or the clock. So that's been our mindset going forward and, and in the past, and we just got to keep hammering away at it. Ashley Conklin, register guard. Tyler, last year, Cal was the only team to hold you guys under 20 points. Um, what do you see as the keys to attacking their defense and being successful on Saturday? Uh, last year, they had a completely different DC and um, obviously different players and a different offensive coordinator for us. So we, we're not trying to focus on last year as much, but um, obviously they, they have a great front this year. They got a new defensive coordinator um, and they got, new, they got great DBs on the, on the back end. So they're going to be another tough defense and, and uh, extremely physical. So we're going to have to bring our best for sure. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Tyler well, can certainly appreciate the, the drive to want to get better after a loss, especially. The offense was efficient, though, as a whole. This week has been efficient all season. Is that tougher as a quarterback to have that, that drive when you look back at yourself and say, what could I have done better? And, and it really does come down to two plays. It comes down to a couple of turnovers out of 66 plays. That's one of the biggest takeaways because there weren't a lot of negative plays. It was a lot of efficiency overall. Uh, yeah, that's what, it's, that's what it comes down to. It's four to six plays each game that define each game. You don't know what play is going to be, so you got to play – Play each rep like it's like it's a loss, and, and just go into it with a fresh mind, and um, they could bring anything, and that just comes on execution and decision making on my part, and um, and, and everyone's everyone's talked about it. We all got to do our job in order for a play to be a uh, play to be executed well. Um, I think we're just we're just gonna kind of honing in on, on that in, in practice this week to try not try not let our mind slip to play through a whole four full quarter game. Eric Scopel, Tyler, what have you maybe learned about yourself? in the last few days here after a, t a tough loss where obviously you don't want to point your fingers anywhere, but I mean, what have you learned about yourself from what happened on, on Friday? Yeah, I was, I was honestly, um, deep down, I was really glad it happened to me because we all got a, a good reflection moment uh, just, just to, to kind of be faced with a lot of adversity throughout the game uh, and try and bounce back from it. And then ultimately at the end of the day, we didn't get the result that we wanted and, and to face that, that result and, and move on from it. I think it was just a great learning lesson for me personally and a lot of the guys on the team um, to not really get the outcome you want, but just know that, um, you know, God's timing is better than our time. And so we just, we kind of take that with a grain of salt and, and just using that as momentum and, and, a, and a passion to go forward. And I'm really, you know, blessed and honored to be in this situation and to be able to, to have that pressure on all of us because, you know, pressure is a privilege. So we're just kind of take that and do what we can with it and trying to get going uh, one and on this next week. Andrew Hobner, KZI. Tyler, you had a couple of games last year that I guess you could classify as a disappointing loss. You know, you're, you're backing up Justin and kind of watching him um, throughout all of last season. Is there anything that you saw out of him and how he handled, you know, the aftermath of those losses from a leadership standpoint that you kind of took and were maybe able to apply this year? Um, I think we handle it um, in different ways. You know, I think him and I are, are different personally, but I, was, I think I just found that within myself and, and just rallied around, rallied around our guys and, and to, to really define what this team means to us this year. So uh, I'm really proud of our guys and how they fought and how they kind of uh, overcame this moment. And, you know, we still got to keep going forward. James Krebia. Uh, we've talked about how the, the offense is scratching the surface in terms of how much was still there in the playbook. We've seen it expand each week from 11 to more 12, more 10 this last week. Um, how much more are you guys able to do now this many weeks in, especially when – you know, guys coming back like a Micah or, or some of your tight ends getting healthier. Um, that We've talked about this before, but again, just more formations, more stuff, even compared to last year, maybe just a more expansive offense. 
yeah, I mean, you hit it on the head. You know, we, we feel comfortable in any, in any personnel grouping with anybody on the field. Uh, that's a great part about having these, uh, a lot of these guys come back and, and get healthy and, and be, fresh to, uh, be fresh and ready to go. So um, as a quarterback, you, you feel completely confident in those guys. And, and, uh, and Micah, getting the, a lot of those practice reps back and, and getting back with the team, I think it's just going to be ultimately better for all of us. And, um, you know, going into the game, we, we don't really know what personnel we're going to start in or be in for the rest of the game. We just kind of go, go with it on the flow and, and just have a great plan going into the week forward. But um, going against Cal, it's just going to be um, – we're going to do what we do, and we're going to do it to the best of our ability. Jerry Thompson, Ducks Illustrated. Yeah, Tyler, I don't know if the coaches have made you aware of this. Probably not. But you realize the head coach, the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator at Cal are all starred for the Ducks, played for the Ducks, and were stars here. And I don't know, last year was a ri- or last week was a rivalry game. You might uh, kind of use that as a little bit of a rivalry, too. Uh, no, we don't really care, uh, you know, who, who they are, where they come from. We're just kind of – we care about the guys on the field and, and what looks they're going to give us. You know, everybody's from somewhere and everybody's got a story. But, um, you know, we, we, we know they're great coaches and great people, so they're going to have their guys ready and we got to be ready as well. James. Uh, in terms of Cal's personnel, t- uh, Tyler, just uh, 8, 19, 24. Uh, what have you seen from each of those guys on film, particularly 24, since you're going to be throwing on him? Uh, I, I think you hope not to see very much of 8, 19. But uh, what are you seeing from those guys on, on film? Uh, yeah, extremely physical, uh, twitchy guys. You know, uh, they're going to be some of the best corners and DBs we faced uh, all year. So I, I, I know they're going to be ready, and, and uh, our wide receivers are getting ready for this for this week and, and for them as well. But uh, as a quarterback perspective, I don't really try and think about um, – personnel as a, as a corner per se, more as kind of where they're forming as a defense. And I have full belief in all of our wide receivers. We believe every matchup that we, we go against is in our favor just because, um, I, you know, practicing and, and I feel confident in all of our guys, um, no matter the situation, who they're going up against. So, um, but obviously all around on defense, they're going to be physical and, and fast. So we just got to be ready for that. So we have for you, Tyler. Appreciate your time. Thank you, guys.